What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be giving you my review of the Udacity front end web developer nano degree. Now, as you can see, when I'm currently filming this, we are not in the best of times with this discount available, but their prices do fluctuate. So just depending on if you're watching this in the future, or not then it might vary from there. But essentially I have started to learn code myself, which you probably have seen on my previous videos. And I got into this front end web developer nano degree recently, just a couple of days ago, and already completed some projects. And there's some things that I wish I knew prior to getting in to that I wanted to share with you um, out there to make it better if it's even worth your time to get in or not. So do, I'd say make sure to watch this video all the way to the very end if you are interested in enrolling in this course, just so you can know if it's worth your time or not. And at any time you wanted to check out this course or any of the programs on Udacity, and I'll include my fill link down below in the description. So if you do decide to make any purchases, I will receive a small commission and help support the channel. Now, without further ado, Let's get into the actual front end web developer course. So I'm just gonna go through a quick, I would say summary of the front page because I'm sure you can already go through that yourself and just give you my um, little thoughts on there. Now, the reason I wanted to make a review video in the first place is because the current videos out there on either YouTube or just anywhere in general, they're either outdated, either like two plus years ago or they're from people who actually know how to code already. So it's not the best measure, especially if uh, you're just starting out learning because they might have a different experience level and they just have different um, view cases on actual course itself. Now, this current time that I'm filming this, the projects are completely different from the review videos I've seen two years ago. So in case you've seen other videos, they have projects where they make essentially some sort of like game with like, looks like like ladybug type things and people has like walked across the thing. The products are completely different now and those aren't even in the actual um, nano degree now. So they have essentially the first one, which I've already cleared here. And essentially you're making a website with HTML, CSS, mobile responsive, typical HTML, CSS project here. The second one involves JavaScript and the DOM. I've also submitted this one, completed this already. And this is where I'm currently at with the web APIs. So this one utilizing Node, and then this essentially making a weather general project. And then there's more after this, you have an article analyst website, and then the capstone, which is basically a travel application. Now I can go here to my, um, this is the actual behind the scenes. I can't, I don't think I can show you too much just due to um, this being their own content, but you can see here, I do have this one CSS project completed here, and then I have the JavaScript one completed there. And note, I've only been in this course for maybe like a week or so. And I want to make this review because if I knew this prior to it, I would have done a lot better preparation and just more things before even enrolling. But um, that's why I want to make this video for you so that you don't have to um, worry about that. Now, this course, one thing that I would say that you need to be aware of is you have to understand HTML, CSS, and be, I would say, a little decent with JavaScript. You can kind of be all right, but you have to be expert, but you have to be, I'd say, fairly um, knowledgeable on JavaScript, or you're just gonna have a lot more time spent studying, doing external research out of there. Now, they state that you have to know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And at first I was thinking it's kind of like base level, which um, HTML, CSS, if you just know basics, you can get through that product fairly quickly. For the JavaScript one though, if you don't know much or you haven't messed with the DOM or pretty much creating classes or making things interactive with JavaScript yet, I would definitely spend a couple days doing that so that you can go through here. And they do offer, they have these prerequisites. So intro to programming. I didn't take that one. Virtual control of Git. I did go through this a little bit, but I already did. Um, I've seen some stuff on YouTube for free and um, other places. So I messed around with that. And I mean, I've learned HTML and CSS from a lot of other courses myself. So I didn't have to, what more, uh, so I didn't have to worry about taking these, but if you did want to, these are the ones here. Now, in case you want to learn JavaScript, they do actually have additional free courses on Udacity that are very basic. But I mean, if you just go to YouTube or any like cheap Ud Udemy course, I'm sure you probably um, can learn it fairly easy that way as well. And myself, I'm still trying to get really good at JavaScript. So that's why uh, I'm telling you now is if you aren't even, 
I'd say just started, you're probably going to struggle on these projects. So definitely prepare more on that. Now, here for this, this is using Node, and this is stuff that um, I haven't even studied at all. So again, this is the first week I'm in this, and I'm also going through other JavaScript courses at the moment, so I'm trying to balance it out. So I might make an update depending on um, like when I complete these or if um, I decide to do something different. But for this sake, this is like a complete like switch. It goes from like JavaScript to something completely different. So right now I'm trying to focus more on my other JavaScript courses first before I go back to here. But just note that um, if you're fairly new to JavaScript and then you get to this section, it's like a completely different um, thing that you have to learn, which I'm sure if you spend a couple hours for a couple more days, you probably I'll probably be able to get through it easily. But right now I'm focusing on JavaScript here. And then obviously these are the, um, the additional products there. Now, let's go down here. So they did update their... Uh, their sort of business model. Because it previously, if I'm correct, and depending if you're watching this in another date, they might have changed it again. But typical um, Udacity nano degrees have the project reviewers, which just somebody just make sure your project is um, completed. And then they had the one I took previously, I've already taken is the UX designer nano degree. So if you do want to check that out, I have the whole review and I have the entire project that I created through that nano degree on my channel. I'll probably include links into the, um, those videos in the description below. You can check those out if you want to. But basically during that nano degree, they had a like one-on-one -on -one mentor. So I could literally go on a Skype or I think a Zoom call and just chat with someone face-to-face. -face. I didn't really use it too much because the designer nano degree wasn't that difficult. You could pretty much learn it with common sense, but for programming, it's it takes a lot more time and a lot more mistakes you can make here. But they changed it to this um, technical mentor support. So from my understanding, it's essentially kind of like you enter, because I already asked a question on here. You ask a question and then it gets sent to like this form type style design to where every other person who's a mentor, even students can go and comment or help out and then pretty much give their feedback on what to do. So it's kind of like kind of like Stack Overflow if you've used that before, but if you have no idea what that is, essentially is you have this like section where you can type in a question and someone will send you an answer through that. Now I've only started, so I mean, the next three projects, I don't know how useful they'll be for me, but I'm sure that a lot of other people in here will be able to help out with that. And uh, also there's like chats with the, um, see if I can show it to you really quick. Yeah, so if I go over here to peer chat, it'll lead me to this page right here and basically, it showcases each project that you have to create. And then there's like a whole list of um, questions and things that people ask. So in case you are struggling, you can go through here and connect with people as well. And also you can just message people here on the side too. But um, I'm gonna keep off of that just since that is um, only for people actually in the course. So it's not too, I'd say once you're in it, that'd be make more sense. But if you're still on the fence trying to consider it, let me talk more about the actual, what's on the front page you can see here. So personal career coach, so I had, um, I didn't use this for the UX designer one, but for me, I wasn't doing it for like the actual career aspect. I was doing UX because I wanted to learn about it in a structured way. But if you did want this, then obviously you can have that where you can actually hop on a call with uh, someone and they'll give you advice on there. But I haven't finished all the projects here, so I, haven't, I can't comment too much on how they do it for front end, but for the UX one, I'd say they give decent advice, but my goal wasn't the same for the UX designer, I agree. But for front end, it's completely different. These are the instructors currently right here. And then uh, basically, you have the enrollment here. And their prices, they fluctuate. So just depending on um, when you're watching this, I mean, these are going to be completely different. But no, these are probably the, um, I'd say these are on the higher end side as far as the cost. And they say it takes four months to complete this, all right? So that's assuming that you have a full-time job or you have some sort of thing that takes up most of your day to where you can only code or learn for two hours a day for x amount of months for technically here four months now you have full time where you just spend like five to ten hours a day learning and doing this you could finish this probably i'd say in a month just depending on your experience for the actual ux um nail degree i completed that in uh, less than a month so if you are on the um, financial side where you can't put up the 1K plus and they prices vary. So depending on when you look at this or whatever yours says, if it's at a price that makes sense for you, you could probably get through it in a month if you actually go like crazy and go full time on there. So that's just more of the general view of 
like what you see on the front page and just more details on that. Let me give you, I'd say, a pro and con currently of my insights. And this is coming from someone who is fairly new learning code and they're not as experienced as other people out there. So I'd say that's a lot of people too in the NAND degree because they say in the form that they're struggling with this project or whatnot. And if you are more experienced, then obviously it's gonna be a different, I'd say, take on this. I'd say you could probably get through this fairly easily if you're very experienced. But if you're starting off like me, things to consider is one is uh, your financial situation. Can you even pay for this? And if you can, then obviously you can ignore that. But if you're struggling on that, I would definitely recommend that you learn a lot of um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript prior to getting in, and even you know Node as well, just so that if you were to get the one month, for instance, package, then you could go through it fairly easy and get through it. Versus if you did, if you were to struggle and take longer, then you'd have to extend that. Now, I'll say that's the uh, more of a say preparation part. I made like a little list here. So let's talk about actual like Ben. What's the difference between this versus like a Udemy course or like a free tutorial on YouTube? I guess I could say, and essentially. Udacity, the way they create their courses, especially in degrees, is that they focus on actually doing projects. So I know you can relate to this. You watch a Udemy course, you watch a YouTube tutorial, you type out whatever the person is saying, then all of a sudden you try to do something from your uh, scratch yourself and you literally have no idea what to do, all right? And that's for me speaking from someone just starting off. Obviously more experience, you know what you're doing, but uh, the way Udacity is, it's you could, I got through the um, HTML CS in like less than a day, the actual course structure, but then the project, I was like, oh man, I gotta build this now. And the thing I like about their projects is that they're not common things you can find online. So the they give you multiple, sort of like a general thing, like make a blog website responsive, have like this, this, and this included, but like there's no copy and paste thing that you have to actually build. So it gives you a lot of room for uh, flexibility, creativity, and also research. So that's big. I'd say the biggest thing is that it makes you actually code and figure out what you're trying to do versus holding your hand saying, all right, type this. You're going to create this here. So I'd say that's a plus that uh, I don't think any course that I've taken sort of has that incentive because most courses, you don't have to finish the project. Like nothing's going to happen. But for this way it's set up, let me go over here. Like you literally can't continue or complete the course without doing a project. So it doesn't make any sense to like just skip ahead or like quit when it gets too complicated. Same with JavaScript, that part was very difficult for me too. I had to do a lot of research and ask a lot of people to get through this part, but I learned more in sense of just feeling like I'm actually learning code versus watching, you know, a 20 hour JavaScript course, thinking I know everything, but then putting everything together doesn't make any sense. So. Definitely the pro is that it actually makes you code, which is a big, big thing that people talk about. The actual way to learn is to code, which is why I like that structure here. Now, second part is research, which I kind of tapped on with the um, coding part as well, but you, you'll realize there's a lot of gaps, especially if you are new like myself, that you didn't realize you did not know. So I'd say that's another benefit for that. And it's overall, it's, uh, just make sure you get in the game and get in the zone. Now let's go into the cons. I'm sure that's something you want to know if you were to get into this nano degree. And basically, I consider this more of an intermediate advanced type course. I think it says somewhere on the syllabus or somewhere that it's like intermediate level. And I would definitely consider this something more immediate. Like you couldn't just do this from scratch or if you're learning code for like less than a couple of weeks you'd probably have to spend a lot of time outside of the actual course learning just to complete the projects there, which is a good thing and bad thing. It just depends on your money and if you can afford, you know, the um, longer time frame or not. Also pricing, that's a definitely a con. Depending on your um, status and also where you live, the cost might be completely out of the window. So in that case, if it's like, I can't even get the month thing, then I'll consider just learning stuff for Udemy and uh, YouTube free tutorials and focus on building actual projects that aren't copy and paste. But if you are able to get into it and check it out, then obviously you would have that benefit of some sort of structure. But at, at the end of the day, if you have the motivation and you know you can't afford this, then I'll definitely say focus on project building. And then also time is a big thing. So when I'm filming this, obviously you can tell we are not 
in a time where um, events are great. But I say in the future, you are either working already or if you still have something already going on, it, it would be the same thing basically is if you're fairly, I'd say, intermediate with learning code and you kind of understand everything, if you're working full time and then you get stuck on something, for instance, like JavaScript, it would take you a couple weeks, I would say, to actually understand it on top of your actual full-time job or whatever event you have to where this could drag on for months. But if you have that ability, then you'll go for it. But um, if you have all the free time in the world, you have like completely empty days and you're just chilling, then you can probably learn all this in a month and actually um, figure it out, assuming you already have the prerequisites of HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. But um, that's pretty much, I guess, my thoughts on here of it currently. I'll make updates depending on you know what I'm working on right now, but my main focus is learning JavaScript. So once I master, I would not say master, but get really good at this. Um, well, not already principal. I'm saying get really good at JavaScript to where I can feel confident. Then I'll move on and complete the other projects. But um, I'll probably make update videos depending on what I'm working on. But that's pretty much my overall thoughts on it currently and uh, again these are from based off of the current projects i completed so far so definitely wish i had some sort of video when i before i got into this knowing like what i need to study and i'd say improve upon prior and if you did have any other i say thoughts or things that you want to ask about how the insight is all this definitely leave your questions down in the comments below and i'll try to reply with them as best i can if you already finished this degree or um no more insights on that definitely love to hear your feedback on there but aside from that this ends the video for today so if you enjoyed this review of the udacity front end web developer nano degree go down below give it a thumbs up comment down below any additional resources you're um, you're using out there to learn code and i'll see you in the next video